Okay, so there is a way, sort of, to import a GIF into Blender. First of all, this is the GIF that I'll be using. It's just this four frame little Duke Nukem GIF. It's just whatever. Um, and you can separate it into frames. You have to do this into each individual picture. So there's four frames in this little GIF here. Um, just go to this website, easygif.com, or just Google how to do it online, or whatever. And you'll uh, get them back in a compressed folder. I move them to a non-compressed folder, makes it easier to work with. And if you want your GIF to be transparent, you know, when you're working with it in Blender, say for, you know, say you imported a GIF from a video game and you want to make your own game with that GIF character, that sprite, uh, then, hold on, I'll zoom in. Then you're going to want to go here, right click on the uh, image over here, add alpha channel, go to this little wand looking thing, and as you can see, with each little click, you make it transparent. You're also going to want to export it as a PNG folder. So, you know, export as, you know, uh, I have them all saved as PNG over here already. So, that, that's what saves the transparency. And so what you're going to want to do, is you want to go to Blender, which I, I don't even have it open right now. What am I thinking? Uh... <clears throat> Okay, I'll just delete this stupid little cube here. We all do that when we're playing with Blender anyway, right? Okay, so we can file, import images as planes, or we can just create a plane and set the uh, texture. But for me, I'm just going to import image as plane material, right? Because it already sets it up, the transparency and everything. Uh, I'm going to make it shadeless. And then we're going to want to import the other textures, the other frames, as textures. <coughs> Sorry, I got a bit of a cold, or whatever, viral infection probably. Actually, cold is a viral infection. Anyway, uh, just uploading, uh, or uh, bringing in all the little textures. And Duke 4. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is on the first texture... We're going to set both the color and the alpha to 1. They're already set to that. And you're going to insert keyframe by right-clicking and uh, insert keyframe. We're going to go to the second frame. We're going to turn them down to a 0. Both the color and the alpha. Don't worry about the picture at the moment. It just looks kind of funny. It doesn't really... Uh, you're also going to want to do it for all the other frames. In this case, 4 frames, so... This way it doesn't try to animate uh, much more if you try to duplicate the uh, keyframes. Now, here on Texture 2, you're also going to, right on the first frame, because this is the second texture, on the first frame, you're going to set both the color and the transparency to 0. And then on the second frame, you're going to set them to 1. I said 1. And then on the third frame, you're going to set it to zero. Insert keyframe, insert keyframe. Wait, make sure it's, uh, yep. And yeah, it's still at uh, zero. Okay. And now for the third texture, it's the same deal. Right, it's a bit of a tedious process, especially if you're working with a GIF that has a lot of frames in it. But the result can be rewarding if you set it up just right. That'll come in handy if you're trying to if you're working with Blender game engine as well. Let's see, set it up to on.
So it's keyframe, insert keyframe. And then for the last <coughs> texture, voltage is set to 1 on this keyframe. So that's already. And then we can just set it to 0 on the others. Okay, and then we're going to just have 16 frames in the whole animation. And uh, if you're wondering how to uh, duplicate the, the animation, the frames, if you don't know how to do this yet, you simply go into uh, Dope Sheet Editor, hit A, Shift D, and then you move it over. And then you can either just keep doing that, or you can hit Shift A again, Shift D, and you've quadrupled your frames. So that's how you do that, if you were wondering. Um, control alt zero for the uh to set the camera. Hold on, I did that now. Okay, now the camera needs to be X, I think. There we go, that works. And now, we're just going to set the avi.jpg. We're going to just oops, record it on desktop. We'll save it on desktop. Just mess with the settings to my liking. And click animation. And as you can see, each individual frame of the GIF will animate as its own picture. And that, my friends, is how you import a GIF into Blender. It's a bit of a tedious process, but the results are rewarding.